Happy Monday, everyone. It's Kayla here with Can You Sign My Yearbook? And today we have this 1943 and a half yearbook. And it looks like a half yearbook. Look how tiny it is. Really, really cool ones. All boys school. And it's kind of little. So we should get through it pretty quickly. But like, why the half, right? I know you're thinking the same thing. But let's go ahead and get started. We'll dive right into this yearbook from Louisville, Kentucky. So it doesn't have any markings. I had to kind of figure out where it was from. But this is DuPont Manual High School, Manual Training High in Louisville, Kentucky. It is still around. At the time, it was an all boys school, but now it is co ed. A lot of famous people came from this school too. I was going through the list of people that came from the school to include the main gal, the Pussycat Dolls. I can't, I can't remember her name right now, but yeah. Well, that was kind of interesting. Class of 1943 and a half. Yeah, so this is like, sometimes yearbooks they do, they do this like um, thing when it's a manual high school, meaning like they're learning, you know, uh, traits like welding and woodwork and, and whatever, things like that. Sometimes they break the school up into different like graduating classes. So I have a couple theories as to why it has a half. But I'm not totally sure, so any theories, let me know down below. But these are the ones that we've come up with so far. I posted on TikTok. This is what I, I thought originally, that maybe it was because it was a manual high. You know, they don't need to be in school for as long because they're just learning vocational training. Get in, get out, get on with your life sort of thing. Go take care of your family. That's what I thought. But it was brought to my attention, which I don't know why I didn't think of this. This was in the middle of World War II. And so, it could very well be that these boys were needed for the war effort, which is really sad. But this is what um, was brought to my attention by my TikTok followers. They said, a few of them, which is a really good point, that, you know, they... They used to, in the 40s, like in the middle of World War II, they would streamline high school so they can get these boys out fighting for their country. And I think that's probably the best theory. Even though I have seen some manual schools have like different graduating classes, usually it's more than two, but I think the World War II thing, that sounds right. But like I said, this is a manual school. This guy was on honor roll. 1941 and a half. <laughs> Band, 1941 and a half and 1942. Oh, that's so weird. I wonder if they were 18 when they graduated. They have to be like 17 and a half. And this guy, Kermit, is already in the Navy. Look at him. That's so interesting that they already give them their uniforms. Like, all right, ready to go. Right out of high school. Now, I think he can be 17, maybe 17 and a half. 17? With permission from your parents, you can go and sign up. You can't leave until you're 18. That's At least that's how it was when I was talking to a recruiter, which I am prior military, prior Navy. And I wanted to join when I was 17, almost I wanted to. My parents said no, they didn't want me to. So I didn't get permission. Kind of a good thing, I grew a little bit, but I did go in without telling anybody because last time they convinced me not to. Uh, at 21, I was like, I'm doing it. So <laughs> it was maybe I was 22. 
and I just went down to the recruiting office and I said, sign me up. I wanted a specific job as a linguist. I had to take specific tests and I got that job. The Navy taught me Korean, pretty cool, very useful. I wanted to learn Chinese, but I actually really ended up loving Korean. Korean is such a cool language and culture and they have an alphabet, super easy. But anyways, enough about me. <laughs> this guy was also honor, honors, football, This guy was in track, track, varsity football, delta, high Y. He kind of has a JFK look about him, doesn't he? Oh, senior prom. It was semi formal, 1944. Wait, January 25th, 1944. Okay, so does half the school not get a, a prom? <laughs> Here's the class index. I'll just kind of pull it up for you in case you wanted to see if somebody specific. Lady killer. <laughs> okay. Oh, this guy, what is he? Ambition to join the Marines. I bet he got that taken care of. We'll take him right away. This guy, Bentley, kind of ironic his name is Bentley because he wanted to be a millionaire. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Be a girls' gym instructor. Ooh, you naughty boy. Uh huh. Pet hate, cold girls. Is that like a pet peeve? Ooh, Burgess. You were too much. Okay, let's see about these guys. <laughs> okay, hang on. Pistol Pack and Mama. That's his pet hate. Pistol Pack and Mama. Oh, God. He wanted to be a musician. This guy wanted to join the army. Guaranteed he did that. Hopefully he lived through that war to be an aviator. Cool. Engineer. Engineer. Sawbones. Messing with motors. Successful. I felt that, Greenfield. Let's see. Get out of school. Silver wings. Navy pilot. Engineer, engineer, engineer. Pass chemistry. Oh, gosh. I know. I understand. <laughs> Let's see. Make money, go into the Navy, be a welder, be a wolf. I don't know if he accomplished that goal. And he doesn't like fat women. Uh-huh. Okay, guy. Pike. What's pike? Gas stamps. What are gas stamps? Pet ha hate. Girls with curves. You don't like girls with curves? Everyone likes a girl with curves. Okay, let's see what else. Can I have the last one? Be like Ziggy, be like Laffy. Maybe they're, maybe they're uh, in cahoots or something. Hobby, snow. Date girls. Shoot a line. All right, let's get into the rest of this book. My days. <clears throat> so these are like, I think little stories or side notes written by the students. Here's a poem, poem, poem. Drink deep or taste not. Crowded trolley buses. 
Victims of Modernization. I bet that's a good read. They didn't know anything about modern, um, modernization yet, huh? For their time, yes. 1943 and a half activities. Okay, these is some sort of club. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Thanksgiving dance, Christmas dance. Oh, maybe they organized the school events. I love the old school lettermans. You know what they kind of look like? This kind of looks like an old Hogwarts picture. <laughs> like they should be moving, right? That's what I feel like anyway. Ooh, my nerd is showing. Mirror staff, that's the, uh, what is that? The, um, what is the mirror? Maybe it's their, their school newspaper. Here they are. That guy got, has a pocket watch. Love the style, love it. The Crimson Staff, that's the yearbook staff. Science Club. Here are the names right there, and there's their picture. You're almost done. The end club, which I think is the, um, like Letterman. I think that's their coach. Such a tiny little yearbook. High Y clubs, let's see. Activities. School community, blah, 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 bulletin boards. I don't know. They look like they kind of do it all. The Y, high Y club. That guy's hat. Delta high Y. Gamma high Y. Oh, they're just getting younger and younger. They do not look like they want to get their picture taken. <laughs> Glee Club. Winding up a very successful season, the Glee Club wishes to honor the five boys who are the graduate, who are to graduate, excuse me. These boys who have played a very important part of our organization are, here are their names, and here's the Glee Club. Love the socks, love the wingtips. Second Glee Club, so I think it's by grade. Like these might be juniors. And then there should be two more, you know, for the sophomores and, I don't know, I guess not. Band notes. There's the band. Sorry if you can hear my daughter in the back. <laughs> honor Society. Here are the Honor Society. guys like looking off to the distance not paying attention you probably only get your picture taken once a year you might want to pay attention <laughs> all right and then we get to the ads well I think there's ads throughout I haven't really been paying too much attention and sports here are the cheerleaders in a lot of yearbooks even in non like all male schools I've noticed that a lot of the cheerleaders are like all male which I thought was really cool. Basketball, track, football, track. This is uh, obviously football. The football team. Nice big team. 
And let's see. JV. JV football. Let's see what else we got. Jokes. Tobacco company <laughs> in high school. Interesting. Well, you know, they didn't know they were bad. So what can you say? Senior play. Oil refining. Railway, Boone's Brothers. I like to see these back here because sometimes you can find some really cool ones. Like I've seen Tiffany and Company for one for New York. Uh, Briar's Ice Cream. All kinds of things you just don't know the, how long they've been around. It's really neat. And to think they had to put their ads in the back of your books. You know what I mean? I wonder if any of these are still around. Because I haven't seen any big ones. Churchill clothes for men. Oh, Pepsi. Pepsi. Any other ones? A friend. Yeah, they must have had some money. They got a whole page. And that is it for this tiny little yearbook. Drop your theories as to why it's a half down below. Let me know where you joined from. And then stay tuned. I'm going to have a few more this week. So, uh, I'll be looking forward to talking to you guys again. But until next time, have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.